join us as we go to a private game reserve in South Africa. We went on horseback safari, got really up close and personal with the animals, and I'll be sharing with you prices, where we stayed, and more. This is part two to my South Africa trip, so you can watch the first vlog if you want. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get to the vlog. We woke up at 7 a.m. this morning, packed up all of our stuff to take a road trip to go on safari. It's fun. It's, it's fun. Like it's fun. Morgan. I was clearly the most excited one in the car. It was going to be a four and a half hour drive from Cape Town, so we stopped here for a little breakfast. Also, if you're wondering if you can rent a car and drive in South Africa with a different country's license, you can. My dad was using a California license. Just keep in mind that it's the opposite side of the road. <laughs> As you may know, I feature all the hotels I stay at and activities I do in the descriptions of my YouTube videos. You can check out my plan and link for this hotel and see the best prices on everywhere that I've ever stayed in my travel vlogs. With that said, I am so excited to announce that I am partnering with Planin to showcase all the hotels I stay at in my future videos. Through Planin's website, you can get inspired by creators' content and book the best deals on hotels and experiences. You can enjoy up to 40% off all your favorite hotels with over 2 million hosted worldwide. I know I feel more confident about booking a hotel when I can see videos and photos from creators I relate to and trust. From now on, I'm going to be using the Plan and website to showcase all the places I've stayed so that you can get the best deals on hotels and see all the content I've made when I've stayed there. So make sure you don't miss out and sign up to Plan in via the link in my bio. It's completely free and you can see how I travel and enjoy exclusive discounts. And through Plan in, you can also discover where your other favorite creators stay, explore and dine on their travels so that you can too. The funny thing is we were actually supposed to stay here for two nights, but my dad got the dates wrong, so we could only stay here for one. But anyways, let me show you how spectacular this room was. We got settled in very quickly because we wanted to make the afternoon game drive at 3 p.m. So we got ready for that and then made our way down back to the lobby. We got into the car and I was so excited because the first thing we saw were these gorgeous zebras, one of my favorite animals on safari. And then we ran into some hippos, which I'm terrified of, but rightly so because they're the most dangerous animal, along with buffalo, funnily enough. Our guide was saying one of the worst animals to come across on foot is a buffalo. We saw some giraffes and then we went out looking for these rhinos. These were two male rhinos before on the other side of this field were a group of female rhinos that were also protective of their baby. You can see that rhino was not happy, but this was such a relaxing afternoon game drive. We put on our funny little ponchos because it got chilly and then we ran into some cheetahs. There were three brothers and their mom and they were so close to our car. The mountains all around us were also just so gorgeous to witness and the funny thing is going in this car felt like a little bit of a roller coaster because of how bumpy the roads were. But after about two hours we stopped to take a break and have some snacks and drinks that were all fully provided for. It was so nice. Here is my friend Caitlin popping back on her poncho. Cutie. <laughs> and when we got back they gave us these fresh towels to clean up with. This is so cute. Aww. <laughs> After getting back and cleaning up a little, we went out for dinner. They had a nice fireplace going. Me and Caitlin shared a bottle of wine. And we had to use this really bright light on the walk back to our room because they were telling us to be wary of snakes. It's currently 9.22, we're gonna leave in about 20 minutes to go horseback ride in the bush, which I'm really excited for. I'm quickly- <laughs> What else do I say? We're gonna do a horseback riding safari. 
<laughs> so it's so funny because I have been horseback riding like a, quite a bit recently getting back into it and Caitlin has been horseback riding as well but yesterday they asked us our experience level and Caitlin was like expert <laughs> because we could either go on the beginner horses or the more advanced ones, I guess. So Caitlin was like, well, I wanna, I wanna go on the fast ones. So let's get all the expert horses. So we'll see if these horses end up chucking us off their backs and sprinting whenever they see a cheetah, but I doubt it. They're very well trained, I hope. <laughs> the funny story about this trip is we actually were supposed to be here for two nights, but my dad had made the reservation and made, messed up the dates that we were supposed to be here. He thought we were gonna be here Saturday night to Sunday and instead we were meant to be here Friday and Saturday. So we have a very short safari trip, but I think we're doing everything we wanted to do anyways. We wanted to do a game drive and then also go horseback riding. So I'm not too upset. I actually think if anything, short and sweet, but I'm hoping this vlog can capture how gorgeous it is here and just our experience because I'm loving it. I think I can grab it all in one video. We've also been in South Africa now for about a week and we're gonna be here for one more week. We're going to my family's beach house in Great Brack, which is a very laid back beachside kind of area, very chill. And that is my like family. We go every Christmas and just like relax and it used to not even have Wi-Fi over there. It was a very like rural area, but it's very relaxing. So I'm excited to show you that as well. If you're new here to my South Africa vlogs, check out these this one. <laughs> okay. Make sure you check out my other South Africa vlogs. I'm going to link them down in the description. But yeah, I'm excited to take you with us and let's just get the day started. Because we were only here for one night, we also had to pack up all of our stuff and check out before going horseback riding. They also had this beautiful breakfast buffet that was included. Then one of the rangers came and picked us up for a transfer because we had to actually drive through the park to get to the other lodge. These stables were absolutely gorgeous. They told us they had about 43 horses on the property. Also, I'm putting the prices on the screen of this experience. You can even just come for a day trip and do simply just this. You don't have to stay at the hotel but I got on my horse, his name was Anchor, and off we went. It was actually so much fun cantering around and the first thing we saw were these giraffes. We got to get really close up and personal. I have to say going on horseback was probably the best way to do safari because the animals are a lot more chill with another animal being there versus this huge truck. We then made our way to go see a male rhino and we got really close to him. It kind of freaked me out, but I loved just being on horseback. It was such a relaxing experience. I jokingly put on my Instagram story that we were being chased by lions, but there were no lions around, so we actually weren't. <laughs> they were in a different part of the reserve. And okay, I think the coolest part of this whole thing was I got really close to some zebras. I was basically within the herd, which obviously I'm on a horse, but it was so cool. <laughs> I honestly felt like I was some kind of South African cowgirl. It was so fun. And then after our ride, we got a transfer back to the original lodge and he was so nice. We had told him that we hadn't seen elephants yet. So he went and took us to go see them. This male elephant was approaching our vehicle and was apparently not too happy. So we had to back off. When we got back to the lodge, we had lunch before my dad picked us up and we were driving to Great Brack. This is gonna be in the next vlog. It was a very chill beach holiday, so stay tuned for that video. You can actually even come and rent out this house. We host it on Airbnb. But thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Super soaker, that's a